A strong explosion went off in an office building in central Odessa, Ukraine, on Wednesday. The explosion went off on the first floor of a five-story office building in the Admiralsky Avenue. The sound of the explosion could be heard 10 kilometers away. The police and doctors who came to the site said nobody was injured as no people were inside the building. In the building there's an office of a volunteer organization which collects aid for Ukrainian military in the punitive operation in the Donbas region. We warned that help to punitive forces became dangerous in Ukraine. State Duma chairman Sergei Narishkin has reiterated his advice to European countries to rule themselves and stop hitting metal some US advice that does more harm than good. Narishkin told reporters that currently various US representatives are taking active part in a number of European political organizations where they enjoy full members' rights. In this capacity, the US is affecting decisions concerning the fates of people and states thousands of kilometers from its borders. Isn't it time for European countries to take their fate into their own hands? and stop applying for the services of those who can only instigate conflicts ending in violence, destruction, humanitarian disasters and human casualties, said the Duma speaker. Russian military advancements have been taken into account when preparing recommendations for continued U.S. global power projection into the future, former Department of Defense official Robert Armitage told reporters on Tuesday. This general approach of U.S. global power projection is consistent with what we have seen in Russia's development capabilities, said Armitage, who is also the author of the U.S. third offset strategy at the Center for Strategic Budgetary Assessments. Armitage unveiled the CSBA's most recent report called Towered a New of offset strategy discussing how to exploit U.S. long-term advantages to restore U.S. global power projection, so-called defense of democracy. Human rights group Amnesty International accused Israel of the unjustified destruction of civilian buildings in Gaza during this summer's conflict, branding it a symbolic form of collective punishment. Israel says the buildings served as Hamas bases. The advocacy group has called for an international investigation of Israel's behavior during the incursion, in which over 2.1 thousand Palestinians and 60 Israelis died. In its latest report, Amnesty particularly noted that in the last relatively bloodless days of the war, the Israel Defense Forces deliberately bombed several large civilian construction without any apparent necessity. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.